Hello, welcome to The Gentleman's Flavor. I'm Kirk Bradley. Thanks for watching. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a classic cocktail. One of my personal favorites, the wonderfully bitter Negroni. Only at the end of our video, we're going to show you how to put a unique, interesting little twist on the recipe to create something entirely different. Without further ado, we're going to bring in our mixologist from The Gentleman's Flavor, Mike, to show us how it's all put together. Cheers. Hey, all right, so uh, we're going to put a Negroni together. Uh, with me, I've got Mike, who's our mixologist from The Gentleman's Flavor. Hey, Mike, thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me. So, Mike, uh, uh, what do we got here? All right, so today we are making one of the easiest cocktails in the book. This is the Negroni. Uh, what's this on the end here? It almost looks like a, a bottle of an Italian red or something like that. Right, well, it's actually, it's not quite that sweet vermouth. Um, and when it comes to this cocktail, uh, the key to making a really good Negroni is using very high quality ingredients. And in my opinion, when it comes to uh, high quality sweet vermouth, uh, nothing really tops the Antica. It comes from Italy. It costs a little bit more than most Negronis, but believe me guys, this is really worth it. Um, just a little tip though, if you do get the Antica, or actually most sweet vermouths, uh, once you've opened it, cracked the bottle, you can't just quite put it right back in the cupboard. Um, you need to get one of these air pumps. I've got one here. You gotta pump all the air out, seal, seal the bottle, and then put it back in the fridge. So it keeps it fresh. After that, we've got our Campari. Again, this is another liqueur from Italy. Uh, Campari is Campari. You can't really substitute it for another ingredient. Um, so it's essential for the cocktail. And then last year, we've got our gin. Um, I like to use a, a dry gin. This is Plymouth Gin, it's from London. It's gotta be from uh, jolly old London, is what you're saying. Uh, it doesn't have to be from London, just as long as it's not too herbaceous. Ah, gotcha. Um, so what, what am I having in a Negroni? Is it uh, with dinner? That's a good question. Uh, I'd like to say that you can enjoy a Negroni anytime, but um, there are some ideal, ideal times to really enjoy a Negroni. Um, the Negroni is an aperitif, and that means it's something that you have before a meal, generally speaking. Um, and what it does, it's a bit of a bitter drink. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of bitterness. And what that does is it really opens up the palate, kind of gets you hungry to have that meal. Um, so before meals is, is ideal. Having it with cigars, whenever I've got friends over, uh, this is the drink that's really popular. A lot of people ask me to make it for them. Um, usually when it comes to cigars, a mild or a medium wrapper cigar will really pair well with the Negroni. And then lastly, you know what? You can just have it on its own. If you've had a long day and you're just home relaxing, watching TV, um, it's a great drink to have then as well. Cool. Hey, you're making me really thirsty. How about we uh, put this all together and make me one? All right, let's do it. All right. So, uh, hey Mike, uh, what's with the ringer you brought in? What's with the uh, mystery bottle, buddy? Okay, so this is the Tommy Rotter Bourbon Barrel Aged Gin. Uh, Tommy Rotter is a distillery from Buffalo, New York. So, uh, wait a minute, stop. So what you're saying is that not all gin has to come from uh, jolly old England? That's right. Uh, sometimes the best ingredients can come from places like Buffalo. It really adds a unique flavor to the cocktail. It adds a bit of smoky flavor, smoky taste to the drink, which really, really brings the drink together. That sounds like that would go really well with a cigar. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm really eager to try these Negronis that you made, my friend. Um, well, I guess that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like us. Uh, I'll see you in the comments down below. And until the next time, I'm Kurt. This is Mike from The Gentleman's Flavor. Cheers. Oh, it's wonderful. Somebody give me a cigar. Okay. <laughs>